What's up? My name is Taylor Whitney if you're new here and if you're not welcome back to my channel So as you guys may or may not know I play the guitar I play the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar I started teaching myself how to play almost two years ago It was like the summer of 2022 and it's seriously so much fun. I really really enjoy it. It is a great hobby But I started teaching myself on this guitar right here This was my brother's old electric guitar that he never played so I was like hey if you're not gonna use it then I am so yeah this is my only electric guitar it is just a Fender Squire it's so old I probably do need to get a new one but I still love this one but I really feel like it's kind of boring like it's just plain black and it's it's not really my vibe you know you guys know me I'm all about all the fun bright beachy colors so I figured why not to customize it and make it more me I recently just painted a guitar as a gift for a friend and and I seriously enjoyed that process and I think the end result turned out really good this was the final product as you guys can see and so after I did that it kind of inspired me to paint mine so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video I am super excited to do this so let's just jump right into it So guys, the design I'm thinking of doing is like a little ombre aura looking kind of design with the colors orange, blue, and pink and making it like super bright and vibrant. I think that would look really cute. So guys, first I'm just going in with the back of a scotch Bright sponge and sanding down the entire guitar. Well, actually not the entire guitar, just like the black parts of the guitar where I'm going to be painting it just so the paint can stick really good and it's not going to chip off. Now that I finished sanding down the entire guitar, I'm gonna get into actually painting it now. And to start, I'm just gonna be mixing these two light blue acrylic paints together to be kind of like the base coat, but also the outer part of the design. Now that I've finished with the blue, I'm going to be moving on to the next color of the pattern. And for that, I'm just going to be using these neon hot pink acrylic paints. And I'm going to be kind of blending that into the blue to give it that ombre effect. As you guys can see, I'm just kind of using my fingers to blend the paints together. I would be using one of those sponge brushes if I had one, but I don't have any at the moment. So please do not judge. Now that I'm all done with painting on the pink, I'm going to move into the final color and that is just going to be this orange. I'm only using one paint for this and I'm not mixing any together, but I'm going to do that same blending method with the pink and the orange, just using my fingers. I'm 
also going in with a second coat of the pink just so it's easier to blend the orange and the pink together. Now that I'm finally finished painting the entire guitar, I'm going to varnish it all up. I'm going to be using this Liquitex acrylic varnish, and this is just going to seal all of the paint so it doesn't get scratched, and it's also going to make it look super glossy and shiny. So guys, the guitar is all done. I could not be more happy with how it turned out. I'm actually so excited. It's so much better than the black. Even though there was nothing wrong with the black, I just feel like this is so much more my style and like totally fits the vibe of my room. Not that that matters, but like it just fits my vibe more and I'm really happy with it. Anyways, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below this emoji right here if you made it this far into the video and subscribe if you want to see more of my face in the future. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!